Hey guys, Doug from Motion. I wanna run over our billet mechanical fuel pump bracketry setup real quick. Our passenger side setup is very popular. It just seems to fit a lot of combinations. The driver side, there's steering rack and everything in the way, but the passenger seems to fit really well. However, on certain chassis and certain setups with piping and stuff, certain ways, um, you'll either have frame stuff in your way, you'll have piping here, there, everywhere. So we kept that in mind when we designed it. And as such, we designed it in a way that we could move it around slightly. We're kind of constrained a little bit space-wise, but it gives us the ability to move things around so that if you have a belt drive pump, you can clear the chassis down here and over here. Um, and then also piping wise, you can move it up if need be. So I'll dive right in. I'll show you these details and uh, I hope it kind of helps you um, make up your mind and or if you've stumbled across an area where it's tight or doesn't fit, you can move it around quick and easy. So if you dig right into this thing, uh, we have our pulley, we have a uh, bearing bracket, which you can either mount the pump directly to or a cable directly to. Uh, you have spacers, an intermediate bracket, and then your main bracket. So if I left everything loose so we could, for ease of things on this video, if you pull off the pulley, um, you can see that you can just loosen this uh, flag shaped bracket, which is uh, essentially the bearing bracket that holds everything. And uh, when you do that, you'll see that um, if you take both of these bolts out real quick, you'll see that you have this little uh, hockey stick shaped bracket. Um, the way we design it and the way we send it to you from uh, motion, it's down and out. So that's just kind of a baseline for everybody. But we knew that that would, um, you know, you're always gonna have people needing things uh, to be different for fitment reasons. So we made it so that you could take this off and uh, flip it over if you want to. Tighten that up. And now you can actually relocate your bracket. And if you um, go back to the first video, or the first part of the video, you, you now take this mounting point from here to up here, which uh, not only allows you to swivel it a little bit differently, but gains you some clearance uh, that you didn't have originally. And then that screws right in there. Of course, if you were doing this yourself, you'll want to Loctite that afterwards. And now you have gained a whole bunch of clearance that you did not originally have. You can also um, flip this bracket the other way, but typically an up and down, um, changing that is enough to clear just about whatever is in the way if you originally thought you were gonna clear um, something on your setup. And I actually lied because you cannot put um, that in the upward motion because it actually runs into the block. So you have three positions that you can use, down and out, down and in, and uh, also your up and, up and out. So. For most people, um, if you're really close to getting everything to fit and work right, um, this is just enough to make things clear. And you can see now, if you have a uh, cable on the back of this, how much closer you can tuck it in. Uh, that makes things really nice and uh, tight. And then of course, uh, belt-wise, we can get you different belts and uh, sky's the limit as far as that goes. This might help make things a little bit easier for you and uh, give you some options for fitment. Thanks for tuning in guys, we will see you next time.